you can customize Roman carts using the fields at Tools, Customize the Cart. And essentially, we just give you a load of fields where you can paste in whatever HTML you like. And really, you know, this is down to the skill of the web designer. Uh, and you can paste in any HTML so that the cart matches uh, your website. Uh, and so there's a few fields at the top here. We've got just simple things like the background image. If you just want to keep it simple, the table uh, background color and the text color and the foreground color and the background color for the actual page. And you can align the cart to the center, right or left, and you can nudge it to make it you know, match properly uh, the alignment of your actual web pages. And then there's this field here, the header code for the cart pages. This appears at the top of every single cart page. And you want to put your logo in there uh, or, or something like that. Uh, and then underneath, there's subheader and footer codes uh, spaces for uh, the other pages uh, which are used in the cart. So we've got the basket page here, the checkout page, the region page, order complete page, the upsell and cross sell page, and the get image page. And also there's some fields at the bottom there for the invoice and delivery note. One other page that uh, you'll be interested in is the tools options email page. And if we look down here, there's customizable fields that you can enter your own HTML for the confirmation email which is sent. And you can put in, you know, logos or whatever you want in there. Uh, there's other, there's some tags you can put in there, such as order ID, order date, and order date time, uh, to include that information in the content of the email. Uh, and so uh, there, there's a separate header code there for the confirmation email, which is triggered by payment gateways. And if you're using uh, payment uh, methods such as check, cash on delivery, bank transfer, custom manual swipe and cash, then you can also have a different header which is triggered by that. And there's a header code there for the dispatched email. And at the bottom, there's a couple of fields relating to the tracking uh, code for dispatched emails. And there's a different screencast that you can watch on, on the dispatch process, uh, which has got more information on those.